Welcome to the final battle of the Ski Cup 2021. Very excited to be joined today by Christopher Jacobson and Julia Kern. Uh, these guys competed with Fisher athletes from all over the world um, in a series of challenges featuring Ski exercises. Um, you can find out about the exercises we're doing today and a ton more conditioning programs we have at skiletics.com. Um, so check that out if you want to um, take part in some of the challenges that the athletes have the past uh, few days and um, see what's out there for you. It can definitely help out in your training. Um, so today, as I mentioned, we've got Julia and Christopher. Julia defeated our last year's Skeletics champion, um, Sandra Lonsteiner, in the first round and then moved on to defeat Franzi Proust in the semifinals. Uh, Christopher defeated Canton from France in the first round, and then he defeated uh, last year's finalist, Johannes Klebo. Um, so both of you guys have made it past last year's champions, so I think we've got a very fair battle today. I'm excited to see who uh, ultimately will win the Skeletics Cup this year. Um, but first, I want to ask you guys some questions about how you uh, train in the summer and um, some other questions related to skiing. So I'll start with you, Julia. Um, can you run us through what your daily routine looks like uh, in the summer months? Yeah, daily routine. I'm in Stratton, Vermont, and so I have a club team here I ski with and train, and we do a morning session anywhere from two to three hours in the morning, um, make some yummy food midday, recover. I do some remote work. And then in the afternoon, uh, second session, often strength training or getting out on the mountain bike or going for a run. So yeah, one to two sessions a day every week and um, lots of fun training with uh, my club team. Awesome, sounds like some great days. Um, Christopher, how about you? I know you're on vacation right now, but what, is a, what does a typical daily routine look like for you? Yeah, it's uh, kind of the same. It's uh, a little bit changed. Like I start with the gym every day, uh, different five days a week. I have uh, gym sessions, and then normally, like uh, it's a little bit different. I have three three days with uh, endurance uh, every week, and then uh, we have some smaller muscles like core training and uh, some balance and stuff like that. And I'm around uh, ten sessions every week, and uh, I I mostly do it alone, so I'm a little bit. Uh, Gellers to Julia that have, have a team to train with every day because that's really nice. But uh, most of the training I do alone. Cool. Um, so we've talked a lot about strength and conditioning exercises. I'm curious though to find out about your diet and nutrition and how that plays a role uh, into your training. Julia, why don't you tell us a little bit about how that factors into your uh, off season training? Yeah, that's a huge part of cross country skiing. Since we're doing anywhere from three to six hours of endurance training on the day, we need a lot of fuel. So um, lots of snacks. Um, I drink lots of smoothies in the summer because it's really hot and it's a good way to get carbohydrates and protein in after a workout and easy to drink. Um, but yeah, we eat a lot as Nordic skiers because we train a lot and we're out there sweating a lot and um, fuel is really important and I love to cook. And so when you follow me on social media, you'll see all the foodie things I love to make every day. Awesome. Christopher, same question to you. How does uh, diet and nutrition uh, play a part in your training? I mean, diet is so important in every, like, I mean, whatever you do, and if you're training hard, you really need to focus on the diet and eat good and to get all the vitamins and protein and everything. So uh, I, I like to count like the carbs and the protein and all the amounts. So I really, yeah, so I get everything out of the training every day. Awesome. Well, thanks for that information. Um, today we're going to be doing a best two out of three um, challenge. So the first exercise will be squat dumps, then the dips, and if we need to go to a third um, tiebreaker, we'll be doing the burpees. Um, so without further ado, let's get in position for the squat jumps, and we'll talk to you guys here in just a little bit. Um, for those watching at home, similar format to last time, I'll be timing from here, 30 second repetition battle. We've got judges counting in the background. These two will start on my whistle and end on my whistle. Um, pull out the clock here and all right. Three, two, one. And Julia, now it's super fast for the start here. Software, keeping it nice and consistent. This is really going She's very quickly. This one, she's got it. 
Stopper speeding up a little bit here. About five seconds left. Three, two, one. All right, let's see how you guys did. 42. <laughs> Gave it away. Um, so I yeah, even count. <laughs> as Christopher said, Julia got 42. He got 35. So Julia, congratulations. You won the first battle. Good job. Whew. Harder than yesterday. <laughs> yeah. Again, you came out of the bat just uh, really fast. So I think that strategy works out. Do you do that normally for training, Christopher? And not in this exact motion, but I, we do a lot of jumping in the training. Yeah. And you? Um, yes, but not that many. Usually high blocks. Exactly. Yeah. yeah we'll the same. That's what's yeah. fun about these challenges. It's really more quantity over quality. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, it's super fun to watch you guys go head to head. So I'll give you guys a couple uh, more moments here to catch your breath. Um, and then we'll get into the dips challenge. How do you guys feel about doing some dips now? I like the dips. I mean, I'm not using it so much either in the training, but I use kind of the same exercises. So I think I can be good on them. Yeah. Yeah, I'm excited to give them a try. We haven't done it in the battle series. I haven't done it in the battle series yet either. So nice. It'll be a good challenge. <laughs> the legs are rest for a second, and now let's uh, activate the arms. Yeah. <laughs> Looks nice where you are. Where are you right now? Are you in vacation? Island in Sweden, so it's really, really warm outside. I think it's like 30 degrees today. Wow. <laughs> yeah, it's nice. Yeah. Probably a little different than the weather you usually have up there, right? Yeah, yeah. it's sunny. Sunny today, but hot and humid. Yeah. <laughs> Not quite as hot. It's warm. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, uh, you're in position for the next challenge. Dips here, same as last time, 30 second battle. Uh, we'll be counting your repetition. Uh, I'll count down, start on the whistle, end on the whistle. Uh, and good luck to you both. All right. Three, two, one. This battle is looking a lot closer than the last one. This is going to be a tough one to tell. I think they, they both got around the same pace. Christopher might have started out here a little quicker. Both catching up as well. I'm very excited to see who wins this one. Um, coming up on five seconds left. Three, two, one. Ooh. Nice work. That's This is going to be a close one. We'll see if we have to go to the tiebreaker here. The judges are counting in the background. Christopher, do you guys do arm training? Or is that less of your program? No, I mean, we, we're pretty, like, all over the place. I mean, we're pretty equal. So yeah. we do a lot of upper body as well. Yeah. Well, guys, it looks like we're going to the last challenge for burpees. Um, <laughs> Julia, 52. Christopher, 54. Super close. Oh. Wow. Oh, All right. <laughs> uh, shake it out before. <laughs> oh. All right. So we've got Julia and Christopher in position here for this last tiebreaker round. They're going to be doing 30 seconds of burpees. Definitely their hardest challenge of the morning. Same exact format. I'll count down, start on the whistle, end on the whistle. Good luck to you both. Three, two, one. Burpees are always nice and close. Um, similar start from both these two. Could be another close battle here. Coming up on five seconds. Three, two, one. Wow, another super close one. <laughs> we'll see how you guys did. That that one you're gonna need some time to catch your breath. Man, that was a lot harder than uh, 
when we just did one set. <laughs> yeah. The first round. No way. You guys were one apart. <gasps> Julia, 15. Christopher, congratulations, man. 16. You are the winner of the 2021 Skiletics Cup. Congrats, Christopher. Yeah. It's a Thanks. good battle. Yeah, good battle. Tight. You really crushed me in the first one there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> strong start and then you guys were super close to the the last two challenges there that was super fun to watch thanks thank you both for uh yeah giving it your all and, and putting on a great show for everyone watching uh christopher what do you think your advantage was um throughout these challenges i mean they were pretty short like intervals and like all the training we do in the summer is intervals and one run in alpine skiing is one minute so that's kind of what we're training for all the year and you need to be explosive and fast, and I think that was my advantage. And Julia, you made it so far, and just some awesome victories. Uh, what do you think your advantage was getting this far? Um, yeah, I think uh, I just like I like to do strength, and I have um, some speed, so I think on the squat jumps, that was my 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 strong area. But for skiing, we train speed and endurance and strength, so it all all sums together with these exercises. Awesome. Well, I hope to see you two both back in the Skiletics Cup next year. Maybe we can get a champions battle going with Sandra and Johannes. I think that'd be super fun to watch. Um, Julia, for those who want to follow along with your adventures, where can people find you online? Yeah, you can find me on Instagram at Julia Kernski or JuliaKernski.com. Um, you can follow me there on any social media or on Facebook. And Christopher, same to you. Uh, where can people keep up with you the rest of the summer and into the winter? You find me on Facebook and on Instagram. Just write uh, Jacobson Christopher or Christopher Jacobson, and you should find me there. Awesome. Well, thanks to you both. Any final words? Uh, just congrats, Christopher. That was a really fun battle. Always fun meeting other uh, other Fisher athletes out and around the world. That was awesome. Yeah, thank you, Julia. It was a good fight. Yeah. Thanks to you both. Congratulations to you both, and special congratulations to Christopher. Thanks for everyone for tuning in. Thank you.